Cats are cute and adorable, and there are so many different types of cat. Personally, I think this cat is quite cute. Meow. In an ugly sort of way, but there are many ways of being cute. Take me for instance. Let me show you how to make it. You start with a square cardboard box like this, gluing and closing the flaps up like this. Then we need to round it off on the sides like that. Then we cut out this bit. There, we take this piece, put it exactly on the other side, draw a mark along the shape. Cut that one out as well. Then, assuming that this is the front where the face is, this is the side where we are going to make a cut and uh, shape the back. So we make a mark where this shape here ends. The same on this side. I take a ruler, I draw a line across, and we make a cut. So now we can fold this out like this. We use a ruler again, and we make a fold so that we can make a nice smooth back. Beautiful, now let's glue it. Bit of glue along the edge of the cardboard. Wipe up a bit of the excess glue, and then use a bit of tape to uh, stick the sides down. And now it needs to dry. When it's dry, you trim off this extra bit of cardboard sticking out here, there, and we end up with one like this. And now we can draw the face. But I recommend that first you study the face of a real person. Let's practice on a piece of paper first. The head is kind of squarish, slightly above the middle, a small nose, then comes the eyebrows, there's a little line here in the center, and then going out like this. If we use a ruler, you can see that the eyes are almost at the same level as the nose. That is what gives the cat its distinct look. So the, the eyes are like this, quite big eyes, and then these low eyebrows tend to give the cat a slightly grumpy look. That's why some people find this cat ugly, but I find it cute. Then a small line under the nose, and then comes the mouth. Two lines straight down like this, and then a downturn at the end. Ooh, that's grumpy. Then a little bag under each eye. Some whiskers starting about here, going straight down like this. And of course, ears. Then you have the distinct colors. It's dark in the middle and the dark spot is kind of a cross like this. So if you imagine this being dark and lots of fur going out from the center. <laughs> That's our cat. Now we need to transfer this sketch to this box. It can be quite helpful with some help lines. So I make a cross between the four corners. I can also make a line straight down the middle of the face. So the nose is slightly above the center, about here. And then uh, comes the eyebrows up like that, then the eyes, and then the mouth lines. Yeah. The pupils, bag under the eye, whiskers, and we are ready to paint. I use uh, black acrylic paints that I have diluted in a bit of water so that it's easier to draw the smooth black lines. So I start with this line here. Nose. And now that we have the face, we know how big the ears, the paws, and the tail should be. I think the ears should be quite 
small like this, because then the face will seem bigger and fatter, and that's a lot of fun. So we draw the ears like that, pointing to this side a little bit. And the paws should be quite small too, so that they fit between the mouth. And the shape of the paws is very simple, like this, just nice and round, very simple. Just like a little mushroom. Then we have the tail, stick a piece of cardboard under the cat. Now we can see how big the tail should be. So the tail is actually shaped like a sort of a curved sausage. Then let's cut it all out. And then we are ready to stick them all. The ears, I dip directly into the glue and position them right here. And for the paws, they go down here. But in order to bring them out a bit and make them a bit more 3D, I take little chips of cardboard that I just cut out and uh, stick them on the back. Another piece, stick it on the back. Then I put glue here and I put glue here and I position the paw there. And you see now there is a gap here that makes the paw stick out and look more three dimensional. Then of course we got the tail. Turn the cat around, put the tail uh, underneath. Now we need to fold the tail up a bit, curve it up, curve it up like that. Quite a lot of glue so that the tail sticks on well and a little bit of glue on the tip of the tail as well. There. Now we need to wait for everything to dry. When it's properly dry, we can paint on the colors. I start with mixing a dark brown with lots of water to give it that translucent effect. Uh, you can see that the cardboard color underneath uh, comes through and that's what we want. Rubbing it out like this, working out from the center. And a little bit on the paws too, and the ears. Then, for each layer, I let it dry. For the next layer, I go a bit darker, especially up here in the middle of the face, above the eyes and the forehead, and a little bit right under the mouth. When I do that, I will bring out the, the upper lip area a bit. I want it generally dark around the eyes because I want the eyes to stand out and look, uh, look light against the dark. And a little bit of shadow under the nose. A bit more on the, at the end of the paws and a bit more on the tip of the ears. There, now I'll let it dry again. For the third layer, I darken even more right here in the center, under the eyes, and a little bit above the eyes, under the nose, right here by the mouth, and down here by the paws, and up here by the ears. Gradually building up that sort of level of darkness that I want. I do the same thing with the tail, giving it a uh, three layer uh, treatment where it's sort of light, lighter brown out here and then the darkest at the tip. Then we switch to opaque paints. Opaque means that it covers what's underneath and has a lot of white paint in it. So this is a sort of uh, off-white or very light brown if you wish. So when we add this on, it will just sort of slightly lighten up the, um, the brown underneath. So I'm gonna gradually build up a nice uh, furry texture here now. At the same time, uh, I make sure that I get that sort of uh, cross in the shape of the dark. So uh, gradually, let's build this up. When I move into these uh, smaller areas in here, I can switch to a smaller brush as well, making that job a lot easier. Then I switch to a lighter paint 
and continue to lighten up the fur. The idea is to give it a gradual transition from dark in here over into very light fur out here. Next, we paint the eyes in a nice, light, bright turquoise. The bright turquoise really stand out from the dark brown and makes the eyes almost shine and glow in the dark. For the turquoise to cover really well, uh, we need to dry it and then do a second layer. Then it'll be really nice and strong. Then, I like to add a little shadow underneath the eyelid to bring out the three-dimensionality of the eyes. Finally, I use white and I add a little highlight in the eye, a little one on the uh, turquoise here as well, and a little on the nose, and just a little bit of uh, white highlight on the fur as well. Whoops, I almost forgot the whiskers. It's very, two very thin whiskers going down like that. Now, here's a little uh, secret. Uh, shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, if you want to make the mouth extra three-dimensional, you can make a tiny little cut along the uh, moustache here. Just a little cut down like this. And on the other side, there. And then you gently push the mouth down a bit, a little bit down. And notice what happens. The mouth all of a sudden looks a lot more real and three-dimensional. Then I switch this in with another one that I have painted all around. Look at that. All I need to do now is to add a bit of highlight white on the um, on the fur all over and our cat is ready. So here's some white, here's a brush and here we go. Whoa! Now this is a pretty cool looking cat, don't you think? But what can we use it for? Could it be a lamp, uh, a tiny bookshelf, uh, a handbag, or something entirely different? I need your ideas. I need you to help me out telling me what this could be. Give me your craziest, funniest ideas, and in my next video, I will make it for you. Deal? Whoa, it's me again. Thank you so much for watching. I keep on making new videos and new art all day, 24-7, uh, all the time for you. So please keep on watching, keep on subscribing if you haven't subscribed. And uh, my, 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 thank you.